how to Twitter advertising. First and foremost, why am I doing this right now? It's because, well, I have a lot of clients that I do advertising for. And I discovered something last week that replaced some of my YouTube and Facebook ads by taking an old dormant Twitter account that I had and refreshing it by running Twitter ads. And so here's some results that I'll share with you real quick. So over the last few days, I've only spent about $15 a day in ads on two different campaigns. And you can see from my screen here, one of these campaigns, I'm just playing around with an affiliate offer just to see if I could do ads for affiliate offers with Twitter. And the other is more traditional advertisement for a course that I created. And I created a course on how to create courses online. So that's one of the campaigns. And then the affiliate ad is just a goofy ad on numerology that I just wanted to see if it would work. So the results are pretty astonishing, actually. Literally, my Twitter ad account, I created these campaigns and within a couple hours, they were up and running. Not only were they up and running, but they were getting new results. And so here, let me show you the results real quick. And then I'm going to break into how to do a campaign on Twitter and essentially how to advertise here. So results number one, the course that I created, and by the way, follow me on Twitter. You can find me and I'll put links down below in the description. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you find this interesting. So the first campaign is this ad right here. Okay, so what the ad looks like is literally, it's a video ad by the way, and a lot of people aren't aware that you can do video ads on Twitter, but you most certainly can, and they're very powerful and not expensive at all. So this ad, which is a short video, literally under 15 seconds, you can see the, the ad below. And I generated 150 clicks to my website and actually got a sale. And that's at 83 cents a click. Now that's pretty valuable when, if you really understand marketing a course that and brings in high profit, a buck a click is, it's, it's, it's not expensive at all. The return on the investment is through the roof. Okay, so here's the strategy behind running an advertisement on Twitter. The money in advertising on Twitter is just like Facebook and YouTube. It's about the control, controlling who's going to see your ad. When you can actually use the data and prepare an ad for an actual audience that you control, you're going to have a lot more conversion rates and it's going to make a lot more sense. You're going to be able to build a really valuable asset using Twitter and just one advertisement. Now, one of the ads that I haven't run yet that I thought I would use to demonstrate how to use Twitter as an advertiser is to actually grow my dormant Twitter account because I'm not a person that likes to get on social media every day and engage with people. I don't want to create posts all day long like so many people do. And I don't want to hire a social media manager or a content creator to create content all day. So instead, what I want to do is smart advertising, where I strategically place a piece of content into a highly filtered and targeted audience that I control. So we're going to try the same thing with using a campaign to actually generate followers. Now, a while back, there was a strategy that we used on Facebook. We used to call it a dark post and you were able to create a post on a Facebook business page and then control who was going to see the ad without anyone else actually visiting your page. We called that a dark post back in the day. Well, guess what? Here's the fun part. That's no longer a powerful way to go on Facebook because so many things have changed. But I discovered in this Twitter advertising that you can do the dark post on Twitter now. So you can take a dormant Twitter account, an account that you've not been building and that you have no intention of building as a content curator. And you can start to do what I'm doing right now, which is essentially create dark post ads. So that's what we're going to do. 
So assuming you've set up an advertising account inside your Twitter, then what you're gonna do is simply create a campaign. So you click create a campaign. And what I'm gonna go here, you see you have choices, just like in Facebook ads, just like in YouTube. And by the way, those of you that own a company, you're a business owner, you're an entrepreneur, a coach, somebody that wants to spend time doing what your business entails, that you're just curious about this and you'd actually like to hire somebody to do this for you. I have an ads agency, you can get in touch with me and we can talk about it. But for those of you that actually literally want to learn this, I'm going to keep going and just power on. So the strategy I'm going to use today is followers. So go down here and you select followers, then you hit next. And then it's just like any advertisement setup. You're going to name this campaign, then you're going to name the ad group, then you're going to create the ad, then you're going to run it. So this campaign name, I'm going to call it follower. Uh, where it says funding source, that's just essentially when you set up your account, you're going to use your credit card daily budget. Now here's the fun part. I'm experimenting. So I'm not going to go high. I'm just going to start with $2 a day. That's it. Now the whole intention behind this particular ad is I want to build as many followers in a, in a controlled manner for as little cost possible. And that's what I'm doing. So just set it up that way, $2. And then bottom right hand corner, or excuse me, upper right hand corner, hit next. Now the ad group, this is where you control who's gonna see it. And this is actually quite fun. Um, I'm gonna say business owners and entrepreneurs. Because uh, that's essentially, I, I do two things. I consult as an advertising and marketing guy for currently run business owners and they hire me for my digital marketing skills. The second thing that I do is I coach entrepreneurs and I create online, um, online classes and courses. I teach people how to essentially make a living online. So my audience is gonna be either current business owners, like uh, over the last year, I built up a really solid uh, clientele on Martha's Vineyard in Nantucket. I've been very focused in my niche and I have all sorts of great clients there. So business owners. And then I also work as a coach for entrepreneurs. So online, uh, let's say online coaches, life coaches, uh, business consultants, people that want to generate either a course or a program that they deliver. They also are great clients for me. So what you do is you go and you create your ad group name. And then I, especially if you're just starting on this, don't add in all the extras, just leave it blank. Like the bid type, just leave it with the recommended. And don't change any of that, just leave it there. Okay, now we're gonna get into controlling that audience. So this is gonna be really cool. You're gonna really like this. And the reason why is this is where all of the value comes into play. Okay, so what you're gonna do is leave the top one blank so it will provide you with all the information. Then in your demographics, think it through. What's the age, the sex, uh, the language of your ideal client? So in my case, I'm gonna leave it all, um, I'm gonna change the age range and I'm gonna go for a crowd 35 and up. The reason why is I tend to work with already established business owners, people that actually can afford to spend thousands of dollars on creating ad campaigns. And although I work with younger people that are not as established for entrepreneur startup stuff, when I'm building a foundation of my audience that I wanna grow in my account, which is what these followers are gonna be. I want that to be more of the real framed out, absolute kind of markers of the people that 
are going to help me grow my business and expand my influence. So you want to be very specific on that when you're doing a campaign like I am right now to build the actual follower base of my Twitter account. So 35 and up is what I'm doing. Locations, I'm going to leave it just for the United States. Now, interestingly, you could literally do um, local. So you could do Miami, Boston, New York. I'm just going to leave mine open for the US. Now here's the fun part where it says keywords, events, interest, followers, this whole tab, this is where it gets really interesting. This is where Twitter shows you who's available. So you'll just start with things like, and be very generic at first. So I started the word small and I'm gonna go business. And then what I'm gonna do is I let Twitter give me ideas and watch what happens as my cursor moves. At the top, we have interests. And if I highlight them, on the right-hand side, you see how big the audience is. 31.8 million are interested in business travel, nonprofit, business software. You get the idea. You will have to know which of these will matter most to what you're advertising for. So I'm just going to do this the way that I am right now and just kind of poke around. And I'm, I'm looking at the small business advocate MASH startup, interesting. And I'm thinking about it. Uh, how about entrepreneur? Fifty three point six million business entrepreneurship interests out there. Now there's follower lookalikes. So not only did I talk about the Facebook dark post tactical secret that we used to use, there is another one that a lot of people using Instagram were hot on about two years back where they were using robots and software and they would follow the followers of already established influencers. And then of course, so many people did it that they wrecked it. And, you know, Instagram pulled the plug on that type of model. But here on Twitter, you can run an advertisement as a dark post, the way that I'm talking about, and still follow or target the followers of influencers. So, that's actually what I'm going to do right now. And I know that people that follow Jack Canfield, let's put in Jack Canfield. Let's see if he shows up. Sure enough, Jack Canfield has 3.67 million followers. That's plenty of an audience for followers that will follow me. So on the right hand side, you click add. And then sure enough, right now, this campaign will be targeted to people that follow Jack Canfield and are over 35 years old. And there's 892,000 to 1 million of them in this particular target. That's perfect for me. I could keep fine tuning it, but that's, that's enough for now. So I'm going to leave it at that. And I'm going to click next. Now it's the part where you come up with your creative. Now, one thing that they um, suggest is using a tweet that you've already tweeted. But I'm going to show you the way that I like to do it, which is to create, create a tweet and then select down here where it says promoted only. And then what you're going to do is you're going to write the new tweet and it's only going to be shown as a tab. What I want to do is upload a photo. Uh, so I'm going to go with something that's very, very much me, because this is my account that I'm trying to build followers for. Uh, that media must have been too big. Let's see. How does it look? Perfect. I'm going to use this image. 
and then I'm going to say something. So here's what I wrote for this particular tweet. Now remember, what I'm trying to do is, is develop a network of community, of the people in my community that I think will add influence to the business I'm running so that I can also help them. So what I want to do is I want to not pitch my offer and not go out there and start making a whole bunch of promises or be spammy or any of that stuff. Instead, I want to have something personal, so I put my personal image in. Then I want to give some kind of invitation that makes them feel like I'm a person of value to add to their group. So I wrote this, this short tweet. Thanks for connecting here on Twitter. Actually, I'm going to take out the word Twitter because a lot of times if you use the platform's name, it's against their, their thing because they think that you're, you know, basically you don't want to say the platform like Facebook or Twitter. So I'm just going to say thanks for connecting. If you'd like to collaborate and expand your reach, let me know that one thing your clients find to be your best at. And then I created a, a, a hashtag. So there, I think that'll do it. And then what I'm going to do like the image and I'm going to click done and that's it that's going to be the tweet now remember if you want this to be a dark post select this little button down here where it says promoted only and then go with tweet Boom. tweet successfully sent now what you have to do is go back in to where your ad was And then you need to find that tweet. There it is, promoted only. Then you highlight it. And then you click next. So find the tweet you created, highlight it and click next and then you have your and then you go with launch campaign after you reviewed it and then click launch campaign that's it now you have a new campaign up and running literally it should start within a couple hours or whatever time you programmed it to start and that should start to generate actual composed audience views of your actual advertisement i wish you the very best that's it i'm not going to belabor this um, get in there experiment with it and let me know in the comments below if you thought this was helpful and if you have questions that i can create more detailed videos on and for those of you that want my help uh, reach out to me. The way you can get in touch with me is either on Instagram, send me a direct message, or on Facebook. The links are down below. Thanks again. I'm going to go ahead and close down now. Hopefully you appreciated this how to Twitter advertise. See you on the next one.